Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Skulder of the First Sin. Uh, we have not, <laughs> the, the time there has not gone up much from last time because I only recorded one part. But yes, we're over, what was that, 18 hours now? Very nice, very nice. So, last time, uh, <laughs> last time went poorly for me. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, oh right, yes, 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 we've got these three choices. Last time we went directly forward spent a good 20 minutes bashing our head against a troll looking motherfucker which actually I do just want to see if he respawns or whether it's get him once get him for good kind of thing our survey says son of bitch okay <laughs> glad that that was 20 minutes of my life that I will in fact never get back spent for no purpose right so today, <laughs> god damn it, we will choose a path. Whoa, fuck me. You're keen. We have the uh, spooky scary fog, or we have the non spooky scary non fog. Uh, I'm going to choose this one, even though this guy looks like he's got a fucking. He's got a bit of a strut about him. I'm going to choose this way because I need to warm up and I feel like getting screwed over in the fog where I imagine there are multiple... Oh shit, there's two dudes. I imagine it would go poorly for me. Oh. Nice fucking jump back. Yes, so let's have let's have a warm up by going the less spooky scary way. Hi. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Wouldn't wanna be ya. I would wanna beat ya though. Which would be the better rhyme. Okay. Uh hello. Secret? Oh fuck, oh fuck, you little bitch, you backstabbing little bitch. That was cheeky. That was incredibly cheeky and I rate it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do rate it. Oh sick, that's where we came in from. Huh. Large soul of a proud knight, human effigy, and two mother trucking twinkling titanites. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, fuck. Back to the blacksmith then. That grass that that one dude down there is in looks really weird from above. It looks like it's worms or something. <laughs> cool. Cool. Happy days. I thought the Twinkling Titanite was only going to be got from the Pursuer or something. Question is, should we just immediately reset? No, let's let's uh, wait until we find the next bonfire to go back to Medulla. I'm in that kind of mood. Slightly more risky mood. Can't get to that one. Give me this. Oh, fuck. Dragon Slayer's something, and something else which I didn't read because I- What the fuck? What the fuck? That's not a player? What? I can't lock- Oh no, I can't lock into him. What? Fuck. What in the shit is that? I genuinely couldn't lock onto him. Oh. What? Wait. Huh? Pardon? Oh, hello. Okay, phew. <laughs> I, I was like, don't tell me that this is a dead end. Wait, are you? Okay, no, that is a phantom. They look exactly like the fucking phantoms. That is so cheeky. Oh my god. That is so cheeky. Back ahead. Weakness pincer. 
Try plunging attack. Try jumping. Hurrah for secret. Be wary of lesser foe. Shrine of winter. Pointless. Seek mightier souls. You're joking. <laughs> it is another dead end. Try left. Oh, all right then. Da 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 da. Unless you can get in. No, there's no illusory wall here. You cheeky motherfuckers. So. Shrine of Winter. It's its own. It's its own like named location, which is strange. If I can't even. Well, I guess there must be. Yeah. There must just be an area behind that, and it's like, hey, get your Metroidvania out. Some, uh, some doors require the King's Ring, which I do not have, and now this is Seek Mightier Souls. Hmm. Hmm. Big hum. Okay, so is that it then? There's just no, uh... You've got a choice of three paths, but the way forward is a dead end, and the way to the left is a dead end. Is that... Is that what we're going with here? Is that tree just floating in midair? Am I in between these two rocks? Is am I insane? Like what? How? From soft, please. That is that is just floating in midair. When when they were mapping out the the texture of the land, they were just like, just plop down some trees, just put them at. X equals whatever, or Y equals whatever. Y is elevation, right? Yeah, just put them at Y equals 20. And no matter where the land actually is, doesn't matter. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> that is very strange. Just just lower it slightly. Clip it into the ground so you can't see it floating. <laughs> okay, so I guess this was a bust then. So that's two out of three. Which just leaves... Oh, fuck. Why am I fat rolling? Wait, no. I'm not fat rolling. Never mind. I thought I was for a moment. Which just leaves the other way. But first then, let's head back to Ye Olden Medulla. And, uh... Get our upgrade. And whilst we are travelling, I will plug in my headset like a professional. Oh no, shit, it's loaded. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay, we're good. Right. Uh, not you. Don't need you today. I know normally I come back for you. Emerald Herald, but uh... <laughs> Let's reinforce this bad boy! Oh yes. I need another three Twinkling Tide tonight. Oh man. That is unfortunate. <laughs> but still, hooray. Very nice. Now, there was another sword. Uh that I had a few comments going, oh boy, that sword though, you should give that one a try, and so, I shall. This one, the S-Stock. Uh, although before I upgrade it, because obviously it's going to be way weaker than my current one, because, yes, good, I'm, I'm glad I did that. Uh, let's just actually give it a go, because I may not like it. <laughs> um, I've already forgotten where it was. Of course I have. There it is, the S-Stock. What have we got? Oh, okay. The normal attack is a straight up boop, 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 boop. <laughs> On guard, sir. Donk, 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 donk. <laughs> okay, what about the right trigger? Right trigger is where the actual sw more swipey attack lives. Donk, donk, donk. Okay, the third one is, uh, is another thrust. Okay, alternating. What about two-handed? Two-handed is still the thrust for that. And then last but by no means least. Oh. Oh no, that was my... Oh no. Cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's cool, but... It's very straight line. Like, most of the time, you're just going to be hitting one thing directly in front of you. What I do really like about the Drang Lake Sword at the moment is if there's a couple of enemies, I can swing. And I can... 
do multi-target damage, which this is not ever going to do. <laughs> well, it might occasionally with a... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's it's the one-handed. Yeah, if, if you're one-handed right triggering, you may occasionally get one of those. But, eh, eh, I'm not sure that's for me. Which I deeply apologize for, because <laughs> I had multiple things going. The S-Stock. It's the best stock, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick with stick with what I got. Um, right. So, what the fuck were we doing here again? I, I've... Oh, right, no, we were just upgrading this and then heading back. Got ya. To ruined Fork Road. Oh, now I've got to be, I've got to be on the watch for fucking phantoms that aren't actually phantoms because it didn't even attack me immediately either. That's the really truly creepy thing. Is that I just walked past it and picked up the item, and then it came from behind. Oh fuck me! <laughs> Try right and then chest, like directly behind, not directly behind. Up. Oh my god, it is so... <laughs> Hang on. Oh, you see that? Oh, fuck. Invaded by Dark Spirit Forlorn. I'm going to guess that's got to be an NPC, right? Look at that. Look at that white little bitch. That is definitely not a phantom. I don't suppose Forlorn is behind me, is he? No. Oh, there he is. Hello. Get your best swing out, lad. Oh my god, he completely guard broke me with that. Okay, good, good. Let's get that stamina regenning. <laughs> this is this is so cheesy. I can't believe I never did this in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1, I literally locked on like twice the entire game and people were so mad and still are. You would not believe the amount of comments I still get to this day on my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck me. Which, fair enough, you know. Shit. Oh, somehow. Somehow I survived. Okay, really? How are you... Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, man. Dark Spirit Forlorn has been vanquished. Human effigy as well. Okay, I guess it's the uh, I guess it's the travel back to Medulla episode because here we go again, traveling back to Medulla because that is a level up right there. <laughs> and uh, not going to lie, heading into the misty forest of probable death is not very appealing when I'm carrying a level up on me. So <laughs> let's do that. Um 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 um. I. Th I think we should go for a cheeky bit of Oh yeah, that was the that was the other thing. The um the dude the uh sorcerer intelligence dude down at the No Man's Wharf that is also the Stone Lady's old master. I've been told if I get eight intelligence then he will come and come back to Majula. Uh but obviously I am not in any way an intelligence build and don't particularly want to spend three levels on it, but then at the same time, it's like, I would quite like to get him back to Majula. so, hmm, it's definitely tempting, it is definitely tempting to put three levels into that, and I could also use one of my respec things, is the other thing, I could put a couple levels into that and then respec once he's in Majula, so that I don't have the int anymore. 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe when I kill a boss and get enough souls, actually. That sounds like a good idea. Because at some point I'm going to kill a boss to get a shitload of souls that will be enough to put three straight into int. So I can do it then. Because just putting one in now feels like such a waste. Uh, let's go a little bit more health. Right. Okay. I don't have any more, uh... No. God damn it. <laughs> Sublime bone dust, I think it was called. No, I do not. Okay. Once more, with feeling. Into the misty forest, head right for chest. Fucking shaded. Yeah, shaded is about right. Shaded so fucking hard the sun cannot penetrate. Literally, here I am, attempting to penetrate. And I cannot. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Oh, hello. Lloyd's talisman times two. I just know there's going to be fuckers sneaking up on me. I can actually hear movement. Oh, there's someone. There is someone, you piece of shit. Oh, they're so hard to see. Oh, my God. Oh my shit up oh, uh huh And you can't lock onto them which is absolutely ruthless What what do they go through shields excuse me There you are you little fuck You rat bastard Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Oh shit, I've lost all sense of direction. This way? Fuck, I did not see him before. Oh no. Oh, I... they baited me. How did... I cannot believe they've done this. Okay, there's a wall. They deliberately make you lose your way. Stick to the wall. Stick to the wall. Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh, is this... This seems potentially correct? Any... Illusione? No. That is some... Red marks. Are you... Okay, no. <laughs> I'm so nervous now. Every phantom could be a dickhead. Okay, bonfire lit. Good. Good, good. We are saved. However... There's obviously going to be a ship... Hello. Okay, there's another spot for a fragrant branch then. Not sure whether... It either lets us get through over there, or it lets us get through over here. Hmm. Depends which way you come at it. Right, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to head back, because obviously I missed uh, a load of stuff, I'm sure. Where the chest is, for starters. Because, yeah, I just got completely to... What the fuck? <laughs> you alright there, bud? Wow, that is creepy as shit, my dude. Okay, let's stick to the left-hand edge. Oh, Aww. Oh, look, it's a magical floating chest. Rude? Who was that? Show yourself immediately. Dun, dun, dun. There you are, you little bitch. You fucker. No. 
You little slut! How rude! Oh my goodness. I am very insulted. Highly insulted. Okay. Uh, where the fuck did I die? <laughs> oh no. Getting sold. Man, I'm so glad I spent that level. Can you imagine if I hadn't spent that level and I was now about to head out in search of 13,000 souls in the Misty Forest? I mean, I think I didn't go too far, so it should be, like, just forward a bit here, right? Ah, oh, there they are. Okay. You know what? That would actually be fine. But you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's stick to this wall and see how we can get up to this chest. Just up here? Okay. Not, not too shabby. I hear Mr. Archer, who became Mr. Backstab, I believe, unless there were two of them. What have we got? Chloranthi ring plus one. That's a straight upgrade of the one I'm currently wearing, right? Oh, sh- Fuck me. I was like- I was like, why am I not moving? Jesus Christ. That's like that fucking monkey in Sekiro. Me, casually walking along. Me, why am I not going forward whilst holding forward? <laughs> Attacks the air. Oh, that's why. It's kind of, it's kind of a purpley vibe coming off from over this direction. Oh, lovely. Oh, fuck, less lovely. Significantly less lovely. Gimme, gimme. The old sun ring. Hello. I knew I lost this somewhere. Okay. Uh, are we safe? I feel like after killing that dude, hopefully there's not anyone else hanging around. Let's take a look. We got the... Yes, this is Chloranthi. And this is Chloranthi plus one. This takes us up to 70%. But I think we learned if you are at 70, you're still not fat rolling, right? Yeah, at 70 is fine. 70.01 is not. Um... Right. This one explodes at damage threshold. Hang on, let's just see if the description is any different for this. No, that's the same. Okay. An odd an odd stone ring containing a fiery heat accumulates power as the user is harmed and then explodes. Man, if this isn't describing me, then I don't know what the fuck is. I mean, apart from the bit where it calls me an odd stone ring, but... <laughs> feel like I contain a fiery heat that accumulates power as I get harmed, which then explodes in rage format, <laughs> damaging the surrounding ears of listeners, uh, while leaving its wearer unscathed, apart from perhaps my vocal cords in, uh, in Dark Souls 1 when things got really screamy. Um, our deeds will come back to us in some form or another, both good and bad. Oh gee, I hope not. <laughs> That's cool though. That is pretty cool. Oh man, I'm tempted. I'm tempted by that, but at the same time, it's like... Is it better than some of this other stuff? Oh, this would be good with that S... S... Whatever the fuck sword I tried earlier. Thrust weapon... Oh, counterattacks, I guess. I don't know. Do, do, do. I was all... Okay, yeah, I should probably take the Ring of Whispers off. I was told that it just makes, like, the sort of whooshing noise in the background and then there's like some npcs or something that i can only talk to if i wear this but apparently like in in general it doesn't do anything aside from those specific circumstances so i should probably change that uh what to though is the question uh, um i mean i could do this increases load Although, do I even have anything better? Well, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give this a try. Why not? Why not? Uh, okay. Let us head this way. See where we end up. I would like to do a full lap of the whole thing. We've stuck to the left edge pretty well so far. Where are you? Where are you? Move so I can see you. There you are! 
Got him. Okay, oh, we've been here. That was an item, right? So this leads to the other bonfire, I think, if we just head a little bit further forward. Maybe? Yes. Okay, good. Right, so now let's try... Shh, hello. Fucking see you. Okay, back the way I came. Which is... Yeah, this is the path to the door, right? Yep, good, okay. Just making sure I should probably top up the old flask. And now let's keep to the left. And then we'll also have to do a run where I just go straight down the middle and try and explore the centre because I'm sure there are going to be... Oh, hello. I'm sure there are going to be paths and stuff. Ugh. Oh, oh my fucking hell, that made me jump. Oh shit, that... Oh fuck, I didn't mean to... Wait, oh, you're an actual... Shit. Fuck you! I don't want to hit whatever that thing is. What? Okay, sorry, what am I actually talking to here? Is it this red lion skull thing? Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. I don't see any... Am I... I'm so confused. I... Am I missing? Is there supposed to be a character model here or something? What business have you here, traveller? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. Tis rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then... Somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to, and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. And now... Watch the days go by, gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things. Is he sat right here? Far removed from war. Because I can get I right up to the statue here, battle. and then it's like I have to go around a corner here. I realize it until now. Is he an invisible dude? I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. Uh-oh. I see visions. My oh, body. Oh, wait. Headless, raging without me. I see him. My body wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. He's inside the body red head. No mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. Huh. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. And thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. Oh, you're welcome, man. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. Uh, I require 80,000 souls. Head of Vengal. Decapitate gesture, of course. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I cannot lie either. Pretty I fucked. Hand, yes. But we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Feroza, to land in the distant east. 
When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a sellsword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I could imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I have no use for them. What you got? Vengal's hell. Go and resume your journey. Is that the end of your chat? Then? Cannot lie. Yep. I was Fuck. If it had been a cell so all ever knew, what a f I don't suppose you give me something else if I finish this conversation again. No. Okay. Uh, Vengal's hell. I will retire to my silence. Let's have a look at what that is. Whether it's any good. Uh. Oh, baby. What am I? Wait. Oh, oh shit. I'm over. I'm over encumbered. I didn't even realize. Helmet worn by the ferocious Vengal of Herosa. As Vengal's helmet suggests, he was not unlike a mad beast on the battlefield. Hot diggity damn! Change of plan. Fun though this would be. We're gonna need the big boy ring. <laughs> like a spry little bitch. <laughs> Love it. This is a pleasant surprise. I like his voice acting. He's far more understated than, like, the Bell Covenant dude, which was completely insane and also amazing. Dark Souls has such a good way of picking voice actors. Uh, right. What have you got? Claymore. Very large great... Pardon me. Very large great sword. Very heavy and designed for use with both hands. Don't tell me I'm getting hiccups. That's the last thing I need. Allows for broad attacks that are effective against multiple foes. Great sword, no human was ever intended, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, we've seen that description before. What the fuck are those arrows? Destructive great arrows, hello. Great arrows with intricately crafted tips. Just the tip. Designed to destroy equipment with impact. Bravery does not necessarily entail going head-on with a foe, especially if they have better armor than you. Use these arrows and grind them down from afar. 180 souls for one. That's a bit yikes. <laughs> a little bit too yikes for me. Lightning urn. Explodes inflicting lightning damage. A small clay urn enwreathed in lightning. Explode. Does it? Does it explode inflicting lightning damage? That's cool. Created in Melfia. We've heard of Melfia before. Although I can't remember from who. Maybe the, uh... Yeah, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Perhaps that is from the girl above the dragon rider? Though the lightning contained in the urn lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveller. Well, I have plenty of experience, so I don't need it. <laughs> Gold pine resin, we've got some of that. Uh, and the magic barrier. A miracle encasing the body in a magic barrier. Increases resistance to magic, lightning, fire, and dark. This miracle is said to shield its caster with the rock's armor, and was common amongst the wizard knights of Mirror. The rock? As in... Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No, as in Havel the rock. Right? I believe? Fair I mean, I'd love if the canon was that it was Dwayne it. Johnson's fucking it's armor, but... <laughs> something tells me... That it ain't. Ooh. Fire seed. That's the pyromancy thing, right? Man, you've said I you've said I should try pyromancy and I'm just like, eh. Maybe I should, but at the same time, I'm kinda like whole. I'm kinda happy <laughs> with without it. 
And I know I should be trying more stuff. But I did try, to be fair to me, I did try a hell of a lot more stuff at the start than I ever did in Dark Souls 1 before settling on the thing I liked. So, maybe at some point. I wonder if you get anything from like, wait, is there even a face on this tree? I was going to say I wonder if you get anything from attacking all the faces in the forest or something. But that didn't look like it had one. Okay, and then this is just back up here. Okay, so we've done the loop now. So, uh, straight down the middle, then. Just a couple of runs, just to see if we can find any items that are squirreled away, potentially. Oh, like this, for example. Amber herb times- Oh my fuck! Oh fuck, 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 fuckity shit, fuck, fuck, dicks, fucking fuck, 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 fuck. okay. Oh. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What? Hello? What is- wait, what is happening here? Was that urn laughing at me and causing whatever the fuck that status thingy is? You bitch! Did I tell you you could hit me? No. I did not. Okay, these guys aren't so difficult to handle once you uh, know what you're looking for and also they don't seem to attack in groups. Once you know what you're looking for, he says. Not able to find the dude he's looking for. Okay, are we good? I feel like we found everything. Okay, that's the urn. Anything else? Anything else? Eh, da, da, da. Okay, I'm gonna call it there then. I think we've already found that. Alright, let's run until we get to one of the bonfires. <laughs> oh, shit, we ended up back here. Okay, well, we know we just have to hug left then. Alright, I'm officially calling this... Uh, Haha! -ha. Lovely. Uh, what was I saying? I was about to say I officially called this area done and then I heard the noise and looked around and saw another item. So I've probably missed maybe a couple more things, but I feel like I've been fairly thorough. So I'm officially going to call that area done with. Uh, and from now on, I guess I'll be teleporting around it. So feel free if I did miss anything that I should go back for in that specific forest area. Shaded. Foresty. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Fucking fog is the word I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, yes, let me know because don't think we'll be going back in there otherwise. Cool. Cool. Right, let's rest up. 